need some wet weather. And right now it just looks like some light showers will be moving mm. in, mainly in San Bernardino and Riverside counties. But anything to beat this heat, right? Take yeah. the humidity away. Oh, I know. It's been <laughs> terrible. It will eventually later on this week. Not soon enough, I know. Uh, but, I mean, you can just, it, there's a live shot right now. It just kind of uh, takes a look at how we feel when we go outside. It's just soupy out there. It is hot. It is humid. And now it's just cloudy. Uh, we do have some light showers moving into Riverside County, maybe a sprinkle here or there in the mountains of San Bernardino, uh, but definitely not seeing as much rain as we expected from two systems, uh, one to our south and east and one to our south and west. So we'll take a look a little bit closer. As you can see, most of that wet weather will be staying to our south, but some of it is starting to creep in. So we've got some tropical moisture, and that's what's pulling in the humidity into our area. That's making it very uncomfortable. And then we've got a little disturbance off the coast, and that one I've been watching a very closely because it does have thunderstorm activity with it. I've definitely seen a lot of lightning strikes earlier today with that particular disturbance. However, most of it looks like it'll be staying out of our area. Uh, just to keep uh, the watches in effect, we will continue that through 5 p.m. tomorrow. And this just includes uh, San Bernardino and Riverside counties. Because if we do see any pop up cells and thunderstorm activity, we could see some heavy amounts of rain in isolated areas. And that is the only reason we do have that flash flood watch in effect. What I'm sure you've noticed over the last 24 hours is the, is the increase in clouds. And that is all from those two systems just to our south. So it definitely felt a a lot hotter than it was out there today because of the humidity. Because look at temperatures. Uh, they were above average, but not as hot as it felt. Uh, you can see temperatures are still very warm because once we get the clouds in place, well, then we don't really see cooling into the evening and overnight hours. So overnight lows are going to be staying above average. A uh, look at these temperatures right now, still into the low 80s from Van Nuys to Riverside, mid 70s from downtown LA into Santa and at 77 currently in Oxnard. Uh, but again, we do have mostly cloudy skies. We have that offshore flow bringing in the heat and also uh, the humidity from this tropical moisture uh, just to our south and east. And then again to our south and west at disturbance with the lightning. Uh, eventually, we will see these uh, areas of low pressure pass on through. And once they do, we will have way less humidity and eventually we'll have sunny skies. But for now, uh, just expect mostly cloudy skies tonight. Unfortunately, is going to stay warm and very muggy. Humidity levels extremely high. Taking a look at your extended forecast. Now, keep in mind, uh, Wednesday is that first day of fall. It's definitely not going to feel like fall. In fact, tomorrow, uh, we do expect to see partly to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be into the 80s from the beaches to the LA and OC metro areas. And then Wednesday will clear up the skies, but uh, temperatures will be a bit on the warm side, especially inland and in the valleys. Uh, Thursday, Friday into Saturday, upper 90s. So, not going to be fall like weather anytime soon.